Hello traders, welcome to the LFB and our global video charting review. This is the currency review for the 31st of January 2011. The dollar index made a dramatic reversal in trade on Monday and moved back to the 77.80 price point area that it exploded higher from on Friday. If you don't have access to the dollar index, you just need to look at a euro dollar chart and turn it upside down or stand on your head one way or the other but the break higher on the dollar index on Friday which is seen on the euro dollar chart as that low move break lower violent fashion in euro going lower that was violent dollar index going up can be seen to be replicated going back the other way dollar index now dropped heavily in violent form euro dollar moved higher euro dollar moved higher as a subsequent move that followed a cash infusion equity markets turned very bullish in european trade and sent the german dax much higher than the overnight futures lows and that allowed euro dollar to push back higher gold silver and oil all found support with silver and oil especially finding buyers not just support, they actually bounced off support and then found fresh buyers and that pressurized the dollar index as well. A new short signal on the dollar index from 78 is just starting to form with an initial target of 77.50 that would lead to a subsequent signal in euro overnight automated trading program clients atp you've got your euro signal which has paid out handsomely for you that's the subsequent signal from the dollar index going down from 78 to 77.50 has led to euro forming at 36 36 30 that area and has now picked you up 70 odd pips on euro dollar a new one hour signal long is forming from 3725 that will be subject to positive equity momentum flows coming from the u.s trading session the four hour euro chart has held steady with a test of support at 3575 and that was another reason that atp clients got the long euro signals overnight the British pound has been volatile in trade on Monday, with a four-hour chart remaining weak and still favouring the short side of trade. The one-hour chart is starting to signal long, which will aid that four-hour setup starting to get some, some, some momentum, but will not confirm until we get this 59.50 price point taken out on some very strong volume and closed above on a daily chart. The British pound still struggles to easily find fair value and unlike its European counterparts has not made the same consistent percentage gains or losses against the US dollar. This is our poster boy in regard to signals over the course of the last three years. The great British pound against the dollar has dominated the returns that have been shown on trade plans and signals over the course of the last three months this pair has got extremely volatile and the reason for that is the british government not only did we have a hung parliament needed a coalition government to be formed but the british parliament has taken draconian measures compared to any other region in an effort to get these austerity plans in place and get budget deficits lower. The issue that the Bank of England is working with is you still got inflation without growth. And that is the reason over the course of the last three months that the pound has become so volatile. That will change. We will get back to a strong moving pair rather than a violent moving pair. But this one's like being stuck in the room with Jack the Ripper at the moment in regard to how quickly it can move up and down and just pull things apart. We will always have a strong moving pair compared to most others on the Great British Pound, but at the moment there's some violence in these charts as the global central banking market tries to find fair value on the pair. And Ironically enough, euro dollars actually got a higher average trading range at the moment with more sustainable movement on it. The Australian dollar has continued to trade in a sideways channel, building a lot of cause and effect for a break above 
one dollar one zero 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 or below zero point ninety eight fifty so one zero 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 or 0.9850 they're the two price points the 100 the 50 and the 20 day simple moving averages are all restricting the movement of the pair which is also being impeded by economic question marks because of the ravaging of the economy because of the flooding in Australia as well as a link to the weakness in recent gold bullion trade the Australian dollar finding fair value will also be impacted by question marks over sustainable Chinese growth which is Australia's main export market but this is one to be left alone at this point in time the Canadian dollar has reversed off the 50-day simple moving average and started to form a short signal from 99.70, which was the breakout point below our neutral swing area. We're just trading in that price point now. There's no time to jump on this. This isn't the time to be just jumping on. This 99.70 is a very important swing point area. Heavy consolidation on the four-hour and one-hour charts has left CAD with a reliance upon near-term signals like we're seeing here, rather than the mid- and long-term, which look really ugly on those one- and four-hour charts. Traders are really having to get involved with just the near-term signals on CAD and then having to put up and accept with the fact that this pair really is very, very volatile in the near term. Dollar Swiss hasn't moved too far in any one direction and all of the time that the dollar can't break one way or the other against the Swiss franc is going to be a very strong signal that the other major pairs will struggle a little bit to make a sustainable break, move and hold against the dollar. We're really going to need to see some strong momentum come into dollar swiss if the other major pairs are going to be able to make some sustainable moves dollar yen sideways movement looking at a break lower on dollar yen a little bit of weakness in the dollar market will allow dollar yen just to move lower and test support a sustainable break lower big question marks on that unless equity markets really do implode during the course of february Thank you very much for taking the time to review the charts. All of the charting and detail is courtesy of the automated trading program run by the LFB. And we do thank the ATP team for the information that they've given us.